world and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. My name is Kelthos and in the last episode we had finished exploring the tops for the most part and then we tried to kill Benny out in the middle of the op uh, out in the open and it didn't turn out too well because we had to kill everybody in the basically everybody in the tops and I didn't like that idea so I tried to pickpocket him and that failed so I used my stealth boy and pickpocketed him and that worked and I got the key and went up to his suite and he went up there himself and then I killed him in there without anybody knowing and that worked and so I got the platinum chip and I got some keys and then I went and investigated his room and I found a hole in the wall and I went through it and I found this yes man guy here and he said he was telling me that I can use the platinum chip to take over New Vegas if I wanted to but in order to do that I'd have to kill Mr. House and like I said in the last episode I don't know if Mr. House really deserves to die or not yet and I don't know how the other tribes are so he said I should get to know the other tribes so that I know if I want to what I want to do with them if I took over as well so in this episode we're going to finish talking to him and continue on so here we go Say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but mm -hmm. I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. I have. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been inside. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. I already have that. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. That was me. Uh, I have the platinum chip, remember? What do you know about the cour courier Benny shot? I knew he was carrying the platinum <clears throat> chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for So him. you told That's him about me, huh? That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Nope, I didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? How do you know all I this? I all that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. Good, you should. You set me up, now you die. I'm not going to kill him. Uh, you have the platinum chip. I have the of platinum chip, you remember? Do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you... Because it was his programming to help. The is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Let's talk about something else. Sorry if that was getting boring. No, it wasn't. But I didn't have anything else to ask you about. Uh, so should I ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. That's true, I you should. Know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Uh, which tribes should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip. The Omertas. I already the white did Glove that society. one. So I didn't. You know what I didn't visit the white. And there are some the white Glove society. farther from the strip too, like the Boomers, the Great Cons, and the Brotherhood of Steel. I met. I I know who the Great Cons are. I didn't. I don't think I met any of these tribes in this playthrough, though. Let's talk about the tribes I should get to know. Of course, ask away. What do you know about the boomers? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. Really? They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion or NCR, though, well, 
That'd be neat, wouldn't it? It would. Um, I'll get back to you about the boomers. Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, um, tell me what you know about the great cons. The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. Maybe they don't deserve to be finished off. I don't know. How have the cons been kicked around? They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. Wow. So Sorry for coughing there. No getting rid of them. I need to take some more time with the cons. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? Yeah, there was one more. Um, tell me about... Oh, there's a couple more. Tell me about the Omertas, even though I already mm -hmm. talked to them. I, remember that I just want to know what you want. What you think. For information. Maybe she knows something. Okay. Uh, do you know anything else about the Omertas? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. I see. He hated their casino. That it was tacky. And he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. <laughs> I know enough about the Immortus to know I want them left alone. I'll check into the Immortus some more. Yeah, I'll check into them some more. Because they're up to some shady shit, according to that woman. But I don't know if they should die. So, I'll check into them. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else I can help with? Um... I'll need to get back to you. I need to take some more time. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I know enough about the Emeritus to know I want them left alone. Not yet. Uh, what do you know about the White Glove Society? From what I understand, <clears throat> they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Maybe they are. I'll let you know when I'm done evaluating the White Glove Society. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? Um, where should I look for the Brotherhood of Steel? Some of Mr. House's data said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. I see. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. No, not if the Brotherhood of Steel's there. They don't like technology. Uh, what do you know about the Brotherhood of Steel? They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. Yeah. All I'm saying is, not much of a I know about that. accept in Vegas that polices itself with robots. True, but they're gonna have to. I'm not ready to decide what I want to do with the Brotherhood because I haven't met them yet in this up in this no rush. playthrough. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about something else. Whatever you say. Let's talk about the tribes. No, I already did that. Uh, Benny reprogrammed a Securitron all by himself. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Hmm. Oh, that lady. I know who she is. She's the leader of the, um, followers of the apocalypse or whatever that's called. Uh, what is, what is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Okay, then. Uh, you said something about a bunker at the fort? Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. Uh, I'll think about it. The last thing Vegas needs is more robots. Um... I'll think about it. I have to admire your prudent nature. Why get caught up in action, you know? And results? Um, what if something happens to Mr. House, I may be in touch. Mmm, yeah. 
I'll be waiting right here. Indeed, you will. Can I talk to you about anything else? Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with me. If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. No. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. Uh... Yeah, goodbye. Come back later, if you need anything. Will do. Well, I know a lot more stuff now. Open door. What is in here? Let's quick save it. What is down here? Nothing is down this way. Okay, what's down this way? Take elevator to sub basement. Requires key. I don't have the key to the sub basement yet. Alright, well, let's get out of here and continue exploring the strip before we decide what else to do. Okay, get out of here. Come on. There we go. Close this door. Okay. Uh, let's go back down to the casino. And let's leave. Right? Yeah. But first, we're going to go over here and see what's over here. More inaccessible elevators, I think. That's the courtyard. So we're going to check out the courtyard, too, because we didn't get to do that. Yeah, How's I don't, it hanging? It's going all right. Uh, I don't know if I want to be the leader of N New Vegas yet. And if I am, I don't know if House should die. I mean, he's kind of greedy and stuff, but I don't know. We'll f figure it out after we go see all the tribes and stuff, too. I kind of like the idea of hey, hey, there's the high roller. running the strip and, like deciding what tribes get to stay and what tribes don't and getting to decide outside of the strip what what tribes get wiped out and what tribes don't the eyes of the mighty kaisar are upon you he admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark any crimes you may have perpetrated against the legion are hereby forgiven kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time my lord requires people like them need to die. Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct to our lands. You again? How'd you find me here? I am the greatest of Kaisar's Frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Hmm. Why does Caesar want to see me? Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor of Kulus will be waiting. Whoops, I didn't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Kaisar awaits. Yeah, yeah. Wow, there's so many things to check out. But first of things, the first thing we're going to do is check out the Ultra Lux and see what's up with these people. If I remember before, I think they were cannibals, but I don't know for sure. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Keep hold out weapons, sure, here you go. Why do you need my guns? I'm afraid those are the rules. If you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. Um, dang it, I can't do that yet. <laughs> Could I trouble you to blow it out your ass? Uh, sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. Okay. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. I understand. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you. Okay, where did you take my weapons? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Goodbye. Adieu. Adieu. You look like you'd be more at home at one of the other hotels. You look like you're a douchebag and need to be shot. <sighs> 
talk to one of its leaders. Okay, uh, you're a greeter. You're not a leader. Hired hand. Bartender. Hello. The top shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention too. What? That's the opposite of what happy hour is supposed to be. Let me see what you have to say. Oh, I don't want to have any. Goodbye. She didn't even say that. Weird. Trying to find leadership. White glove leader. Okay, quests. Uh, where is a talent pool? Killer disable Mr. House or House. Uh, hang on a second. That's where it is. Learn about the White Glove Society by talking to one of its leaders. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So, local map. We're not leaving yet. We need to go down here. Go up here and go in. Up, oh, up. Oh, dang it up here okay uh, still need to keep going open doors hello there hey. are you a leader Mortimer how may I be of service sir do you have any work that needs to be done no <clears throat> not from the likes of you I'm afraid I don't think you'd have the stomach for it better look elsewhere uh, what can you tell me about your organization? My, such what you just said question. is suspicious. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. Indeed. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. I see. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. I don't That's know about what the that. Glove Society is all about. Is it now? Goodbye. Indeed. How may I be of service? Uh, okay. Indeed. I think I gained Hello. all the information I could from you, so I'm going to try to talk to a different person over here. Gourmand. No, it's not Gourmand. That's just the place. The name of the place. You. Welcome to Marjorie. the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Thank you. Do you work here? I do. But one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. You're, and as its founder, you guys are I really suppose strange. it falls to me <clears throat> to decide how we go about it. Okay, um, goodbye. Ta ta. Ta ta. Yeah, I don't know. You guys are weird. What's the quest say now? Tell Yes Man that you've decided to ignore the White Glove Society. Tell... Find out more about the White Glove Society by talking to Marjorie. I did talk to her. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your... I already did that. Goodbye. Hmm, maybe I was wrong about them being Hello there. cannibals, but I thought that that was true. I guess we'll have to wait and see, because I have not found anything else out. Food supplier, you. You look positively famished. Let me see what you have for sale. You won't find better. Um, uh, no weird stuff, so that's good. Stop. Adieu. Adieu. 
Okay, well that was the Ultra Lux, as weird as it was. So I think in the next episode we will continue checking out... Oh wait, there was a kitchen. Yeah, in the next episode we'll check out the kitchen. And then we'll check out more of the strip and see where we can go from there. I want to thank you all for watching, and if you like what you see, I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day. And if you really like the videos, I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. And if you want to know when I post my videos exactly when I post them, the best way to do that is to turn on your notifications as well. I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.